All right, we had a super sticker a moment ago, so let's get this. Uh, Betta G, and thank you for the $19 super sticker. I really appreciate it. She said, I heard I like you on a first date. First date, two dates total went great. Also heard I'm not dating anyone else from him. I didn't say that myself at, uh, after, after back in the city. Asked him to call me, but he never did. It's been two months. Okay. So here's the part of the dating process. You know, the first time you meet someone, we call that a date, but it's actually a meeting. Okay. And the second time we actually see someone that's really the first date, sometimes it's a kind, it's, it's, it's kind of a residual from the first time you met. You can actually like someone, but the reality is, is it takes about a hundred hours of face to face time, a hundred hours of face to face time to build the first layer of trust. And the reality is, is the vast majority of beings have a life going on before they met you. And a lot of their life experiences could be in the, in the soup of what's going on. Let me repeat that, their life experience. And, and if their life is unstable, in other words, the ground underneath them isn't solid, they can be rather flaky. It's very common for human beings to be flaky. It's very common for human beings to be insensitive. It could be very common that um human beings um might desire something but they may not be ready for it so this is the the challenge with dating is that you know i don't like to suggest that we have to have thicker skin i'm just here to suggest that each experience is an opportunity for you to love yourself each experience is an opportunity for you to love yourself because we can't control the outcome of what somebody else does so we can look at this experience, these one or two dates and go, oh, that's, so my invitation is to be curious, to be curious. Okay, well, I had a couple dates. He said he liked me and then he chose not to speak to me. Now, quite frankly, if, if you know, he's not obligated to ask you out on the third date or quite frankly, you could pick up the phone and ask him out the third time and see what happens. I got to tell you, a lot of women actually follow this advice of me. When they haven't heard from someone, they reach out and say, hey, I'd like to take you out on a date. And they end up getting some level of closure or sometimes they end up being surprised. They might, the guy might say something like, you know, I wasn't really sure you liked me. I got to tell you, I've gone on, I've had the exact same thing happen. I actually liked a woman. I said the words, went on two dates. I didn't ask her on a third date because I just didn't think she liked me. I just didn't think she was into me. And so for a lot of men, the reason why they don't pick up the phone for a third date is they're not sure about you. And believe me, this is scary stuff for us men too. But Jonathan, I want to be with a confident man that knows what he's doing. Look at confidence oftentimes is bravado for, you know, for a mask. And, and I speak this from my own personal experience. I mean, my own confidence sometimes is merely a mask for the scared little child inside myself. You know, we men have a scared little child inside ourselves, and it takes a lot of awareness to be, you know, to really be, uh, I said the word awareness, but to be aware that, you know, Emotions are a rather fickle thing. Emotions can be very difficult for, especially for us men to even navigate in our lives. So just recognize that we're going through, we're doing the best we can. And sometimes we can make a mistake. And that simple mistake was you did, you know, we didn't know you liked us. So we chose not to reach out to you. Didn't mean we ghost you. We didn't do anything wrong. It's, I know in this case, it's been two months, but did you reach out to him and say, Hey, I'd like to take you out on the third date? Because if you did, and he said, no, you at least have closure. And that's just a suggestion I have for you is to have a little closure in your life by leaning into asking the question. So, um, to our writer, Beta G, thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it. I hope it helped. Okay, Julia says, 